Today we're going to talk about 8 3D modeling apps for Android that you can use on your phone, tablet, or any other mobile device. These apps have different tools and features that can help you work on your projects when you are not in front of your computer. This video is brought to you by Sketchfab, a platform for buying and selling 3D models online. Their store has a lot of high quality models to choose from using a great model inspector. Links in the description. Number 8. SDF3D SDF3D is a tool for modeling that can be used to create or design things such as furniture, toys, jewelry, decorative elements, game design, industrial concept design, and so on. SDF3D features a standard toolset for modeling functions and high-resolution export for 3D printers in SDL format. It uses a modeling technique that is memory efficient and adopted to mobile devices respecting their memory and CPU limitations. There are also some advanced premium features such as synchronous mirror, precision tools, advanced export, coloring, and more. Number 7. Cubism Cubism lets you design and build simple 3D models using your touchscreen device. It does this with digital construction blocks called cubes that can be added, deleted, moved, stretched, slopped, shaped, rotated, and colored with a couple of touches. Using this app, you also have the ability to export and save images and models. You can select the camera tool from the left menu and select the file top from the right menu. You can also export your model to develop it further with tools such as Blender, SketchUp, or any other advanced 3D modeling software. Number 6. 3DC This app was made by a small startup to provide an easy and intuitive app for beginner 3D designers like children and people who don't have experience and want to try to put their hands on 3D stuff. The 3DC app was designed to be used primarily in education and help teachers in schools because it offers discounts for schools and helps teachers to integrate 3D design in their curriculums. This app is very simple. You can use basic shapes such as a sphere, cube, or cylinder to start creating relatively complicated models from basic geometry. Overall, this app is for beginners, so don't expect to create complex 3D models like professional 3D software, but it is great for new people nonetheless. When you are done creating something, you can export it as an OBJ file to edit them later on your computer for greater details or to export them as an STL for 3D printing. There is also a gallery where you can upload your models or see what other people are uploading, which creates a nice feeling of belonging to a new community. Number 5. D3D Sculptor D3D Sculptor is a digital sculpting tool that combines 3D modeling, texturing, and painting. It offers tools to push, pull, extrude, move, rotate, stretch, or otherwise manipulate a digital object as if it were made for real-life substance such as clay. You can also import OBJ files for further detailing or texturing using other professional 3D modeling software on your computer. When modeling using D3D Sculptor, you can modify vertices, faces, and edges. You can also use dynamic topology and use paint and texture to bring your models to life. Some of the advanced modeling operations on this app include Boolean operations that allow you to intersect, subtract, and unite objects using subdivision by edge, center, or curve, and the ability to decimate a model to reduce polygon count. Furthermore, it has a UV editor with an unwrap modifier. It allows you to tweak UV coordinates, scale, rotate, translate UVs, and revert to the original state at any point. Number 4. Sculpt Plus Sculpt Plus is a digital sculpting and painting application designed for those who want to practice sculpting on their mobile devices using easy-to-understand tools and user-friendly interface. As a start, you can add multiple primitives including a sphere, cube, plane, and more, also ready to sculpt base meshes and the ability of mesh subdivision and remeshing. To do this, this app offers multiple sculpting tools such as smooth, inflate, move, push, pull, trim, crease, rotate, and so on. In addition to stroke customization, alpha texture support for each tool, and vertex painting and masking. If you want to import or export files, Sculpt Plus got you covered, because you can import OBJ files and export as OBJ or STL for 3D printing. Also, you can import matcap and alpha textures. In addition to that, you can render images and export them as PNG or JPEG. Number 3. Prisma 3D 
Prisma 3D is a full 3D application that contains tools for modeling, animation, and rendering. People can use this app for creating 3D intros and 3D logos, in addition to virtual reality content and 3D animation. You can create basic geometry like a cube, a sphere, and a plane, in addition to adding cameras and lights, in addition to easy 3D navigation using multi-touch. You can perform basic operations like delete, rename, or copy objects. Also, you can select and transform multiple objects, change color with the color picker, apply texture, group objects, and so on. You can even import up to 50 different 3D files and export OBJ files to be able to be further edited in a software such as 3ds Max, Maya, Blender, Cinema 4D, and so on. When modeling the mesh, you can select multiple objects, faces, or points, extrude, and slice plane or faces. When it comes to animation, you can set and remove keyframes for any object property and smooth keyframe interpolation to create nice animations. For rendering, you can set custom resolution up to 1080p and 4K for fast devices, and save video to camera roll and share it by exporting an MP4 file. Number 2. Space Draw Space Draw is a professional 3D modeling tool for mobile multi-touch devices. Using it, you can view, draw, construct and paint in 3D with the intuitive use of multi-touch and motion sensors. You can create basic shapes such as rectangles, grids, boxes, polygons, prisms, pyramids, cylinders, cones, spheres, and so on. You can change the view while drawing or modeling using multi-touch or by tilting the device. In addition to the ability to toggle between wireframe, shading, textures, lighting, x-ray, backface call, and the ability to hide objects or faces as well. Like other 3D software, you can work on your 3D models in perspective or orthographic view. Number 1. Onshape Onshape is a computer-aided design software system delivered over the internet via a software-as-a-service model. It makes extensive use of cloud computing, with the compute-intensive processing and rendering performed on internet-based servers. Onshape for Android allows you to create and modify 3D mechanical CAD models. It is a modern CAD system for designers and engineers to focus on being creative when working on mobile devices. It is primarily focused on mechanical computer-aided design, and it is used for product and machinery design across many industries, including consumer electronics, mechanical machinery, medical devices, 3D printing, machine parts, and industrial equipment. It unites parametric modeling tools and design data management in a secure cloud workspace that is accessible on any device and never loses data. Basically, this app is not specifically targeting individual users and hobbyists, but professionals and teams that need these type of tools. Overall, I think it is great for personal use as well. Onshape is not just a 3D modeling application for mobile apps because it can be used on computers too. It was developed by a company with the same name, founded in 2012. Its leadership team includes several engineers and executives who originated SOLIDWORKS, which is a popular 3D CAD program that runs on Windows computers. Onshape's co-founders also include two former SOLIDWORKS CEOs, and PTC acquired Onshape in 2019 for $470 million. So as I said, it is not just a mobile app. Final Thoughts these 3D modeling and animation apps are designed for beginners in the 3D world, for people who do want to pursue 3D modeling as a hobby, or professionals who want to do their work when they are not in front of their computers. So the focus here is not to have the most advanced tools or cutting edge technology that competes with desktop 3D applications like 3ds Max, Blender, Cinema 4D, or Houdini. What I want to say is, these apps can be limited to a certain extent, especially because they do operate on a mobile device that can't be as strong as a personal computer. In addition to that, these apps are developed by independent developers and small companies, so there might be bugs, features that don't work properly, or lack of updates. So you have to test these apps for yourself and see what works best for you. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.